The fact that he would leave her in this very vulnerable position by herself to have this baby, she's not gonna take kindly to that at all. At all. Welcome back to another episode of the Slumlord Stories Let's Play. Today, I'm thinking, let's switch it up a little bit. I think it's time we discover what it's like to be one of Malcolm's tenants. And you already know who we're gonna check on first. That's right, y'all, we are checking in with Cassidy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I thought that it would be fun to check in on the tenants, at least at some point during this Let's Play. And I figured, considering the state of things, now would be as good of a time as ever. <laughs> So basically, this is just gonna be a fun little side quest today. We are going to check in with at least Cassidy, at most, maybe a couple of the other tenants to see like, what is it like to be Malcolm's tenant? You know what I'm saying? Fun fact that I learned in just stepping into this household, turns out Ollie is not Cassidy's husband. Ollie is Cassidy's brother. So none of y'all was gonna tell me this. Y'all was just gonna let me run around thinking that if she got caught with Malcolm, that this was gonna be a problem for Malcolm. I'm thinking now it could be a problem for a different reason. Also, why does she not like Kayla? I feel like there's something that can be done there. Thanks for cooking, bro. It also begs the question, like, why do they have one bed that they share? That feels a little intimate, if you ask me. So I'm thinking that maybe they need two beds. Just that's the first thing I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do, just because this is a little odd. Okay, so I got, <laughs> I got a, a bunk bed situation. I'm gonna have Ollie on the top bunk, and I'll have Cassidy on the bottom bunk. Now, obviously, uh, Cassidy is expecting. Okay, she's in her third trimester. The baby's about to pop. Now, what are y'all doing? Y'all singing about prank day? They seem like a pleasant little bunch. Okay, so one of the things is we've got to figure out, now that I've given them a bed, I think that I want to pick what bassinet that we use. They've got so much money that it's not even really uh, an issue. I guess I'll just put the baby's bassinet here. Also, they don't even have a pet. I'm gonna leave the pet stuff in, air, in here though, because maybe we can get one. Actually, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. We'll have Ollie adopt a pet. And you know, for the canon, it'll be Ollie's pet, whatever pet. That he decides to get. So I think what we need to do today is figure out what does Cassidy want with Malcolm? Does she want him to be an active participant in her child's life? Does she want to possibly get him back? We don't know, but I figure that we might as well check in with her and make sure that the baby is set up well today. And then anything else that happens can just be fun chaos just for the sake of it, okay? Now, where are you going? She's gonna go autonomously grill a pot of sister's chili, even though she needs to use the bathroom. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to Sims. Come over here and do this. I don't even think she knows all her neighbors either. So you know what we could do? We could host like a little baby shower potluck situation and invite Malcolm, but not invite his new girlfriend. <laughs> Curious though, can we just invite anybody or do we have to know the people who we want to invite? Okay, it looks like if we had a baby shower right now, the only people we can invite are Malcolm, our brother, and then Kayla who hates us. So let's go around. Let's quickly, I don't know when she's gonna have this baby, but let's try to meet our neighbors. We'll bring Ollie, just make sure that he knows our neighbors too. Uh, okay, is anybody home? Everyone's here. So why don't we do a friendly introduction with our neighbors? Okay, Fawn, please. And then I see another one of our neighbors out here too. We'll do a friendly introduction. And I see Malcolm, but Malcolm, uh, his girlfriend, his actual girlfriend, not his fake girlfriend is outside. Okay, so now she's met everybody. She's talking with one of her neighbors and I guess her other new neighbor, Fawn. I feel like just for the canon, she shouldn't really like Fawn. I'm just gonna casually insult her. I wish there was like passive aggressive insult because we, <laughs> Malcolm really has Cassidy out here just fully pregnant. Is he going back inside? Malcolm, Malcolm. Ugh. All right, he's gone. All right, well, Cassidy's yelling at Fawn from across the way. That, uh, that's fine. The only reason why we came out here is because we wanted a few more people for our little baby shower. I think by the time that we would have our baby shower, it would be... <laughs> the baby will be here. So if we're gonna do this, we might as well just <laughs> do it now. Did she just knock on her own door? All right, so now we're gonna have our little last minute baby shower. Let's invite our neighbors. 
except for Fawn. We'll even invite Kayla. I don't know why she doesn't like Kayla, but she's invited. Wait, why does it say guest Cassidy? No, it should be Ollie. What's going on? Oh, is this gonna be weird? Okay, it's working now. We don't have a caterer and we don't have a mixologist, but that's okay. And then we're just gonna do it here and we're gonna start it now. And then I'll have Ollie make some dinner. We'll have grilled cheeses. It'll be a real classy affair. Oh, she changed She changed into her party outfit. Ugh, maybe at the end of this, I need to give her a little makeover. Here's the real goal, right? We need to make sure that we get gifts from people. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> What we get? Oh, we got a little woodmobile. He would give us an old school toy because he's an old school kind of guy. Now, where's everybody else? I might have to make a group with everybody just to get them inside. Okay, Ollie's overheating. And to be frank, I'm not even really paying attention to him this episode. I just want to make sure that he doesn't die. That's my only goal with Ollie. It's really about Cassidy today. And it seems like they're everyone's hot. So let me put in one of those little air conditioners. I don't know if the AC has to be in every room for the Sims to feel it. Okay, Ollie's decided he's going to bed, which again, like I said, it's fine with me. I'm doing this for the gifts and to try to win Malcolm's attention back, you know? Let's invite him to feel the baby. Look at that, look at that. He seems impressed. I know he's not saying goodbye. Can we romance him a little bit? She was the one who was actually being a little wishy-washy with the romance. Let's see if he's receptive. It seems like it. Look at that, already got a little bit of the romance back now let me let's start thanking people for coming and i'm just gonna go and start clicking around on different interactions you can do with the baby you know guest baby's future career but i'm a little disappointed that not enough people are giving me gifts i've only received one gift so far you know it takes a village i mean everyone seems to be having a good time with the grilled cheese and then watching nothing on the television again though i just i would like some presents Cassidy does not seem to be happy with her last minute baby shower party. And I can't imagine why. Is it because I didn't plan it at all or put any decorations or invite real friends? Like get over yourself, Cassidy, come on. Okay, so I have this AC, but I can't, I don't know if it's working or what, because people seem to be hot. Okay, I'm just going to add one of the little um, thermostat things because I can't tell if the thermostat on its own is doing anything. Oh, Ollie's back up. Well, since Ollie's up, maybe he can talk uh, to some of the neighbors. He never met that neighbor. It's funny kind of playing with people made sims because i have no idea who they are what their backstory is i'm just kind of jumping into a house and press and play you know i'm gonna come over here and we're gonna trash fawn there is an option here that we can talk badly about another sim and i feel like her talking badly about fawn right now like tracks again this is just because she's feeling a little bit panicked because malcolm kind of left her high and dry look at this he said whoa cassidy you're talking about one of my best friends cut it out man what about me what about what i need what about me what about me all right this party is at least a bronze i'm trying to make myself available for present can i say ask for presents i feel like that should be an option i'll try to chat with kayla again i don't know why they're not friends like they are like straight up almost enemies don't know why that is that that's beyond me i had nothing to do with that let's continue to try to talk with everyone i don't know i'm just like what? I'm supposed to be getting presents. Honestly, this party is a bust if I don't get another gift. This was a silly idea from the jump. All right, let's start flirting with Malcolm. Let's spice things up a little bit. Is he receptive? He seems a little receptive to it. it. Of course he's receptive. He was the one that actually wanted to take things more seriously. She's the one who wanted to keep things super cash. He's feeling sad for some reason. I don't know what happened. Oh no, she's got some sentiment. Stabbed a friend in the back. A loyal sim trash talking a friend. Is she loyal? No, no, I don't, I don't know what that's about. Maybe Malcolm's loyal, I, I don't remember. Now they're getting sentiments and stuff about spending time together. Cause they are friends at least. Oh, oh, Ollie, can you put some pants on please? Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, what, what is he wearing? He ain't got pants on. Why? Why? Girl, you can't go anywhere until this party's over. And why didn't anyone give me a gift? We only got one gift. This is a, this neighborhood is terrible. Oh no, Cass Cassidy's passing out. Girl, wait, but your gifts. <gasps> no, she passed out and we didn't get any more presents. This sucks. Everyone's leaving. The place is kind of a mess. And Ollie is cleaning instead of um, sleeping, which is what he was doing earlier. I don't know. Cassidy must not have eaten anything either. So let's get her to get some grilled cheese and then she can use the bathroom and go to bed. She does have a little buff baby shower bliss from her terrible baby shower. Who, who's coming to my house? 
house. Oh, uh, hey, maybe Ollie can talk to her. You know, it's like six in the morning. Don't you have children? Well, there's no way to send her home. Oh, here we go. Goodbye. I don't know what's it. What's up with my Sims automatically just hanging out, but I don't like it. Oh, uh, she's back. I said goodbye. Oh my gosh, she's coming into the fridge. She's making herself something. Get out of here. I, I I don't have the time for this. I really don't. Let's adopt a pet. Uh, we're gonna adopt a dog. Okay, so we're gonna pick from these pets to come in and hang out. Oh, these are puppies, puppies. These are all like little puppies. Oh, Cleo is a spade adult. So we'll see how Cleo is. Another puppy, another puppy. Uh, Joey. Joey could be kind of cute. And let's see. Let's see Rosie. Okay, so she, Michelle's cooking uh, in our house instead of going back to her house to cook. And there's nothing I can do about it. So all he's going to take on the trash and then we're going to see when the dogs get here. Okay, the doggies are here. Look at this. This is so cute. Oh. Uh, all right, let's do, let's go do friendly introductions to all the dogs. Okay, that dog is scared of the stove. So already not off to a great start, little doggy. But let's friendly introduce all the pups. Okay, this dog growled at me. Joey, Joey's not very nice. Uh, what about you? Rosie, right? Rosie seems more friendly. Okay. And then what about you? Cleo. Cleo seemed indifferent. What about if I try to pet you, Cleo? Okay, that dog is definitely aggressive. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know about you, little Joey. I'm sorry. Maybe I can pick up Cleo. Cleo's so cute. And this is this is the biggest that Cleo's gonna get. Hmm. Cleo doesn't seem that into me, if I'm honest. Oh, okay. Can we like hug? Oh, Cleo. Okay, we're gonna put Cleo down. Okay, so now let's pet Rosie. Wow, we've got the best relationship with Rosie. Oh, Rosie seems like friendly. Oh, and she like she needs love. Let's try to offer friendship to Rosie. If Rosie accepts our friendship, we'll adopt Rosie. I I can't tell if it worked. We're talking with the adoption guy. The mean dog has taken a liking to the bed, which I, I don't know how I feel about. Oh my gosh, little Rosie, you're so cute. We'll try to offer friendship again. Oh, he just became friends with Rosie. Yeah, let's adopt Rosie. Okay, Michelle, please. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes. Oh, look how cute, Rosie. You're such a sweetie. You though, you need to go. Can I tell you go away? Because you're doing the most. We're not adopting two dogs. The rest of y'all can leave and we'll end the adoption evaluation because I don't want any more dogs. You know what's funny? I actually do not know if no pets is a rule for this household. Yeah, actually we don't have any rules for this household it looks like. We, we can actually have pets and it not be a problem. That might be something I take care of in the next part. <laughs> but in the meantime, they are not going to get in trouble for having this dog, which is great. Okay, so I've come into cast because I think I want to give Rosie a collar. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, what are Rosie's traits? Smart, stubborn, friendly. Oh, we got lucky. Okay, so Rosie, what kind of collar do I want to give you? That's cute. Oh, and then we can change the leash collar too. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, I like this purple collar. Let's get the matching one. Oh, I love the little heart. And then we can also have a pink collar. And then for walking, we can also have like a little pink collar. Love this. Love this for us. Oh, we can have a harness. Oh, I think I like this. Yeah, I like the harness better than I like the the collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we have a harness. Oh my gosh, Rosie could have a dress. Interesting. Or a little top. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Or an outfit. She could be a banana. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I kind of like the dress. Your pink one. Oh my gosh. She looks so cute. Okay. And what about for this color? Is there like one that kind of goes with it? Oh, she looks so good. She's so cute. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know any big dogs that wear clothes, but I'm, I'm riding with it. Oh, look at Rosie down here in the, in the little thing. Okay. So can we tell this guy it's, we're done now? Like, hello, end adoption evaluation. Get these dogs out of here. I got to get a new bed for my dog. Does he know it's time to go? End adoption evaluation. Stop talking to Michelle. Michelle, can you please go home? What's up with Sims not going home? Okay. It seems like finally I got the message that the dog should be leaving. Okay, so let's get our girl a new bed because that bed is too small for her. Unfortunately, our apartment really is not big enough for this big dog, but we're making it work. Now that we've got little Rosie, we should probably take her on a little walk and give her a little treat. Let's give her a treat first. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her. She's sleeping. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> You know, in real life, I'm not really a dog person, but in The Sims, I love it. Oh, and he he autonomously gave her some food, so now she's going over there to eat. 
I love this. This is exactly what they needed. It's a new little addition that's not a baby. I think it would be great if Ollie's personal mission was to train Rosie to do different things. Malcolm Landgrab would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Yeah, Malcolm, that is totally okay. Cassie, get up. That's about as comfortable as you're gonna get. Malcolm wants to come over. Let's make a flirtation joke. Oh, he wants to become best friends. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Malcolm has taken her flirtation to mean that like she wants to actually be a good friend and a good person, which I, the jury's still out on that, honestly. So now Malcolm's hanging out. They're chit-chatting. They're talking. He doesn't have anything to say about the dog because it's not technically against the rules. <laughs> and we're honestly just waiting for this baby to show up. I want her to be like, listen, Malcolm, I know that things between us have been challenging, but you know, she likes affection. Yes, yeah, she does. Look at this. <laughs> Invite to feel baby again. She's like, but I just want you to think about, you know, like I was there for you when you had nobody. You know what I mean? And we have this baby coming together. You can't leave me now. Look at her. <laughs> I almost feel like she's kind of a menace. Oh my gosh, was that one of her wants was to kiss him? Cause that's crazy. No, no, you're not gonna go outside and play in a pile of ash. Uh, let's talk about a post made about you. Cause I don't know if that's good or bad, but I feel like either way it, it's a conversation. The question is going to be, oh, she gets to confess attraction again. She's like, listen, I still have feelings for you, Malcolm. I wish that Sims would like rebuff advances if they were in a relationship. <laughs> I would love for him to be like, you know, Cassidy, you know, I really liked you but this thing that I've got going on with, with Fawn is just too important to me. But this is Sims and he's not gonna do that. So I'm gonna have her ask about love life. Like, are you sure about her? Are you sure she's the one? Also y'all, I just wanna point out that she, she really didn't care about him cause she doesn't even know all his traits. She only knows one of his traits. Like she don't care. This whole thing I think is really just cause she's panicked cause she's about to have this kid. But let's gossip. Let's ask about another Sim. I'm just gonna ask about Fawn. So like, what do you think about Fawn anyway? He said, I'm so in love with Fawn. Mm, 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 mm. Now for Rosie, I'm gonna have him wor work on teaching her how to speak, which I find hilarious that he would be doing that in the middle of their conversation. Maybe she can talk about marriage with him. She's like, are you thinking about like marrying her or what? And he goes, I really don't think it's any of your business. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He ain't loyal for real. Or maybe it's not even that he's not loyal. Maybe he just is like, Cassidy was really his first, like his first limerence, his first infatuation, you know what I mean? So he's happy that she is like showing him attention. Cassidy is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. Look at her, she's very uncomfortable. She's starting to freak out. Look, at, she's looking at Malcolm like, <sighs> All right, we're gonna go to the hospital and we're gonna join and we're, of course we're bringing Malcolm. I should bring Fawn to be messy, but I won't. All right, so they are at the hospital. It's time to check in. Malcolm is freaking out as he should be. I will say, I think if we were playing with Malcolm today, I don't know if we would be able to join her. So this is kind of nice that we actually get to be here for the birth of the baby. Where is Malcolm? Did Malcolm leave? Oh my gosh, Malcolm left. Malcolm left. I. Uh, he came with her and now he's gone. He literally bailed on her. I don't, I don't see how they recover from this. I don't see how she does anything but cuss him completely out because he was supposed to be here. Oh my gosh, maybe she calls her brother. She calls her brother, but he's not gonna come because he won't get here in time. She's literally going to the hospital. She's literally going to the bed right now. She's literally about to have this child and Malcolm is nowhere to be found. He literally came with us to the hospital and now he's not here in this room. Oh, this is about, to, this changes my whole feeling about this situation with them. The fact that he would leave her in this very vulnerable position by herself to have this baby, she's not gonna take kindly to that at all. At all. Look at her poor face. She's like, I should not be doing this by myself. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that we were here, like I said, for the birth of this baby. And it's a baby boy. Wow. First of all, the baby boy's last name is definitely gonna be Landgrab because this is her only way of making sure that Malcolm understands the severity of what he's done. Secondly, the baby's name is definitely gonna be Malcolm. <laughs> he will be Malcolm Landgrab the <laughs> second. Because who, who do you think you were playing to leave her? Maybe if he hadn't left, 
he would be able to talk to her about what she's doing. But now she is coming for his throat and coming for his bloodline. You know what I'm saying? This is your firstborn son, Malcolm. You ain't gonna ignore me and him, little Malcolm. Oh my God, this picture is so precious. Look at this, look at this. I'm glad we got to meet little Malcolm today. Okay, Cassie is back from the hospital and she, for some reason, is still in her hospital gown. She is feeling very good though. So let's come over here and let us talk to little Malcolm. Can we introduce Malcolm to our brother? I think that's the first thing. She's like, hey, Ollie. She's like, meet little Malcolm. And he's like, Malcolm? Oh, that's an interesting choice, sis. Are you sure you want to name it after your baby daddy who didn't show up at the hospital? Remember when you called me in a panic? He's just going to give her a hug. Like, I know that you're going through a lot, sis, and I want to be there for you. So I will say that I don't have aging turned on. So definitely by the end of this episode, this baby will be an infant because that's just what we got to do. You know what I mean? But I think that we should come over here and we're going to kiss Malcolm's forehead and we're going to coo at and we're going to cut a little Malcolm. Uh, okay. I was going to say she's talking to herself. She needs to switch out of this hospital gown, but she is just fresh out of the hospital. The baby's crying, but I'm going to have Cassidy eat something really quickly. The baby will be okay. There, nothing's going to happen to him. She's feeling very happy though from the new baby and from making a new best friend who is Malcolm and Malcolm really failed her. And I don't think that that sentiment is reflecting enough in the way that they are feeling about each other. But I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry about it. Okay, so she's taking care of the baby. And then after that, she's basically feeling fine. I'm gonna have her take a nap. Well, actually, I don't even know if she's met Rosie. She can talk to Rosie and maybe pet Rosie. Just make sure they know each other because I don't know if they do. Oh, they do a little bit. Okay, I missed it. Oh, I'm so glad they got Rosie. You know, just a little companion to help protect the, the new baby boy. I think it also makes sense because she's a new mom to just to just order some food. Like let's just order a bunch of meals and not have to worry about cooking for a little bit. We'll get some spaghetti, some fish, a BLT, and chicken stir fry. Okay, Zoomers is on its way. Ollie has gotten up, so I'm gonna have him start training Rosie again. We'll pick something else that's a little quieter. Now the question is, can baby sleep through the TV? Cause I was worried about being too loud and waking up the baby, but it seems like they can, so I'm cool with it. Okay, so where's our food delivery? Okay, so the Zoomers person is here and I'm gonna be real with you. She looks kinda cute. And I feel like, oh my gosh, new personality trait dog lover. Oh my gosh, so as Ollie has been training Rosie, we just got this pop up. New personality trait dog lover. Yes, I love that. Okay, but in the meantime, I see this, this delivery person and I'm not even gonna lie to you, she kinda cute. So I'm gonna have Ollie make a little move. You know, we're gonna accept the delivery, but then we're gonna, you know, just, just say a little extra. Yeah, let's do a little friendly introduction. Okay, uh, I hear the baby crying. I'm not worried about it because it seems like Cassidy's got it. Now what about you? What's your name? <laughs> Okay, who are you? Anong. Hey Anong, how you doing? Let's do a little flirtation. Can I do a pickup line? Not Cassie talking about how messy it is in here. Okay, so she says, thanks for using Zoomer's delivery service. Basically like, uh, no, I don't want you flirting with me. I'm literally doing my job. All right, well then, bye Anong. Shoot, that's fine. Yeah, she wasn't having it. Uh, and I think that's fair. Cause like, uh, why are you flirting with your delivery person? I'm gonna move this food that we got from the bag into the refrigerator. And it looks like she has already decided that she's gonna eat the BLT. So I think that's fine. And Ollie's gonna eat the chips that she got out, which I think is good too. And I think they should talk, you know? He's gonna be like, sis, what do you wanna do? Like, you know, you got this new baby. Are you gonna talk to Malcolm? And she's like, yeah, I, I have to figure out what I'm gonna say to him because I'm really disappointed that he left me at the hospital. It's already 11 o'clock at night. Time moves fast around here. I'm gonna go send Ollie and Rosie on a walk. Meanwhile, let me check our household inventory. Did we get anything from that baby shower? Oh, we got this, a little rattle. Okay, that's better than nothing. That's a little bit better than nothing. I'll just put this out here. Now, I do see a diaper on the floor and it's making me wonder like, do I wanna get like a changing table or anything when we age this baby up? I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and move that diaper to the trash for them. <laughs> the doggy just changed. Okay, so I will fill the bowl for Rosie. We're gonna go coo at Malcolm. And then she's probably tired. She's had a long day. She literally just gave birth today. Oh, Cassie doesn't know what to do. She's a new parent by herself, I might add yet again. I know y'all are sick of me talking about it, but I'm more so like, I cannot believe that he left her. He seems so, so engaged and so adamant. Okay, we're gonna kiss his forehead. I have her taking care of his needs, giving him some love, and then she's taking care of her needs. Now, I did send Ollie on a walk with Rosie. Super cute. 
Don't know how long they're gonna be out, but hopefully Rosie's enjoying herself. I don't like how he's got her on the street. Okay, now they're walking, they're crossing the street, but I, I didn't like that. I'm like, you gotta protect the little doggy. All right, Cassidy's off to bed. And then when Ollie comes back, they can be off to bed too. Okay, so Cassidy has woken up to the sweet, pleasant sounds of her newborn son crying. And she's trying to take care of his needs, although I'm not sure if she's doing the best job so far. Hold him, I don't know. I don't know what she thinks she's doing, but let's change his little diaper. Clearly his diaper's dirty. Okay, you're busy giving him love and affection and he clearly stinks, Cassidy, please. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, and he keeps crying. We're also gonna change his little baby outfit because I feel like that would be so cute. I always forget that we can do that. Every time I rediscover that, I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, Ollie, please put some pants on, dude. Uh, he's just, he's too comfortable. I like how they're opposite. Like she's covered from head to toe and he refuses to wear pants. Okay, and he's eating her spaghetti, which are supposed to be her postpartum meals. All right, you can cook yourself something. Uh, okay, she's gonna have some of the sea bass. He said congratulations on the new addition to the family now malcolm me and you are about to fight because ain't no way you're sending a passive aggressive little text message when you were supposed to be at the hospital with us i can tell you what we're doing today we about to go over there and cuss him out now ollie doesn't have a job just for the sake of having a little bit of extra change i'm gonna have ollie get a job as a barista and we're gonna continue lie down training but now i think it's time wait where is malcolm outside look who's out here <laughs> <laughs> this Malcolm is outside. I was about to come and visit him to cuss him out. But since he's already out here, we can do the cussing out already now. Oh, Fawn's here. Uh, Fawn, I don't even know if she's gonna know what's going on. The only thing about this is that Malcolm is literally an evil sim. So I don't know if you can out argue an evil sim for real. But their relationship is still pretty good. So I'm not sure if there is anything that we can really do about this. That's not gonna feel super, super forced. But look at him, he's shocked. He's like, we were doing so well. And she's like, yeah, we were doing well until you left me at the hospital. And he was like, I'm sorry, I freaked out. Like, I'm starting a new life, Cassidy. You can't expect me to be held back by whatever you got going on. And she's like, whatever I got going on, dude, this is your baby. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna have her go over to Fawn right now and start talking mess about Malcolm. She's like, I don't know if you know who you've gotten yourself in with, but he's a piece of crap. And she's like, that is my boyfriend. I love him. I'm gonna have her brag about the baby. <laughs> She's like, yeah, well, if you guys are so rock solid, then why did I just have a baby with him? And she's like, girl, please. He told me about that already. So I just got a pop-up that says the property owner is here to visit. So I'm going to invite him in technically, though it looks like Fawn has come into the apartment. Fawn is in the apartment since she's technically a property owner now. I'm gonna have Ollie be a little messy and introduce Fawn to Malcolm II. <laughs> He's like, yeah, so uh, this is uh, Malcolm's uh, baby. You know, it's my sister's baby. He's, uh, he just came into this world. He's so cute. Oh, everybody's here. So I'm gonna see what happens if she tries to convince Malcolm to break up with Fawn. She's like, you shouldn't even be with her anyway. You should be with me taking care of this kid. And he's like, you really need to, to knock it off because we're in love. Yeah, she's, uh, Cassie's not taking this well. Not at all. <gasps> oh, and they're kissing in her house. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think for that alone, this is about to cause a problem. Because you're not gonna come in our house in my house with your new child who you weren't at the hospital with with me and then start kissing on other women she's like honestly you need to get out of here i don't care if you think you're a property owner you just got here you're his girlfriend you're not the actual property owner and i'm gonna brag about my baby again look at her she's like and that's why still why i had a baby and i'm gonna send you home now because you're not even supposed to be here you're not welcome here i don't want you here goodbye but when it comes to malcolm She's gonna brag about the baby again, which he doesn't care about, which is interesting. And now she's just gonna cuss, start cussing him out. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna flirt with me no more. There's no more flirting. There's no more none of this. We're gonna criticize woohoo techniques. Like you weren't even that great. I was just bored. I didn't have anybody else. That man who you thought was my husband was my brother the whole time. Yeah, she will never be over the fact that he, he basically left her at the hospital by herself after agreeing to come with her. That wasn't cool. And look, all their romance is gone now. Also, do you see the dog pooped inside of the house? Oh my gosh, it, Rosie might've been a little bit of a mistake. I'm not even gonna lie. She's leaving. 
And I think Ollie's gonna come in and basically, Ollie's gonna come in and talk a little mess too, just because like that's his sister and like he wants to defend her honor. He's like, hey man, that was some BS what you did. That wasn't cool. And Malcolm's like, please dude. And he's like, no, 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 seriously. you That was not cool. And he's just gonna send him home. Like it's time for you to get out of here. Go home. Bye. Awesome. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. My sister is stressed. Now who's cleaning up this poop? Hopefully Malcolm stepped in dog poop. Fawn is still here. Fawn, you're supposed to have been gone. All right, she's leaving. And Ollie is just gonna quickly coo at the baby. Little Malcolm land grab the second and cuddle the baby. Now, Cassidy is over here practicing for a concert where she gets to sing about her woes about being a single mother. Okay, Ollie, you're a little out of your depth. Just put the baby down and come back over here and train the dog. Who I feel like got into the trash because why is there a trash pile over here all of a sudden? Oh, we taught the dog to lie down. Okay, let's teach the dog to speak. I miss that. Cassidy, come over here and take care of this baby. On, you need to stay out of my apartment because me and you are about to fight for real. Of all the people who be coming in here uninvited, it can't be you. Look at her, she's coming in to clean. All right, I'm about to start disallowing uh, non-household members from this place. Oh my gosh, I didn't even pay attention. Look at little Malcolm in his little, in his little ducky outfit. Oh, Malcolm, you're so cute. No, he's the rest. Okay, so let's feed the baby. Let's do all the baby care things like feed him and love him. Okay, so she's gonna take care of the baby. That's fine. Ollie's decided that he is gonna be the next best trainer. So he's reached pet training level two. I didn't even know this was a thing. He can now teach Rosie to heal, shake, and play dead. Oh, that's fun. And then we can practice the trick. Oh my gosh, she learned how to speak. Man, this is a little bit easier than I thought. You know why? It's because she's a smart dog. All right, so let's practice some tricks. Meanwhile, Cassidy has gotten to parenting level three already. She got parenting level two earlier and I didn't say anything because I was like, yeah, whatever. But at least now she's at parenting level three. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess Ollie's trying to teach her how to play dead maybe that's uh i didn't even know she knew that one practice tricks yeah i don't know oh rosie's learning she's so cute what are you doing oh watch dog tricks <laughs> That's cute. The whole family is like watching and engaged. So it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm feeling like, oh, look who's outside just waiting to have some problems. Instead of taking care of her crying baby, I'm gonna have Cassidy come out here and talk mess to Malcolm's new girlfriend. <laughs> She's like, yeah, so my baby's developing great. Just so you know, Malcolm Jr., little Malcolm the second. And I'm just gonna have her yell at her too. Like it's your fault he wasn't at the hospital when he was supposed to be. Look at her, she's on her phone. She's like, I really don't care. I don't know you at all. And you're being unkind for no reason. And Cassidy is like, whatever, you ain't got no sauce. You spaghetti with no sauce, boo. All right, so she's gonna come over here. She's taking care of little Malcolm. Malcolm would like to come over and hang out. Yeah, Malcolm, come on over. I, I cannot believe that he still wants to hang out. I guess they're still, are they still technically best friends? Look at this, she still doesn't know all his traits. Okay, so they're still best friends, but now, now they have a grudging after a fight sentiment. But other than that, Malcolm still feels great about Cassidy, honestly. Cassidy is the only one with the problem, which makes sense. He really doesn't understand why it's not cool to bail on your baby mama after you already agreed to go to the hospital. I think that's the thing. It's not so much that she was like, oh, can you come? And he was like, no, I don't feel comfortable with that. Where, where did he go again? Oh my gosh, he said, I wanna come over and then came over and like is just talking to Fawn. Also, there's all this food, okay? I'm going to put all of this food away. Oh my God, he's really out here making out with her after he already agreed to come over here. So before all this food goes bad, oh yeah, we've got some things that are gonna go bad in three hours, in four hours. What about this? Six hours, three hours. Okay, I'm gonna try to put all this stuff away because that would be great if we had all this extra food because people have been grilling. I also love how Michelle is texting like, oh, I heard you became friends with Malcolm Lamgrab. He's pretty cool. Is he? He's your landlord. You should know he's not that great. Fawn, uh, hello? Why is Fawn just hanging out here? Since you wanna be here so bad, Bad. Can I click on you and have you do property owner stuff? Since you want to be in my apartment so bad, why don't you go to work? Okay, so I asked her to inspect unit objects. I also don't know if Malcolm technically knows the baby. So we might as well, even though we're not necessarily on the best of terms right now, show off Malcolm the second to Malcolm. Yeah, he's crying. Malcolm's like, oh wow, it's so great to meet you, little man. I'm like, okay, sure. You know what, just to be messy too, cause she's, uh, cause I'm feeling petty on her behalf. I'm gonna confess attraction to Malcolm in front of Fawn. Just because, 
What will she do about that? And what will you know? Does, does she come over and say anything to him? I don't think she does. Maybe she's not the jealous type. Maybe she doesn't care. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she's gonna get some leftovers of the stuff that um, she ordered from Zoomers. And what about Ollie? I think Ollie and Rosie have been training all day. So we're gonna cut that out. Uh, look, also, I don't know if I said it, but Rosie learned how to play dead. So that is honestly so adorable. And I'm just gonna lock the door right now. Lock for everyone but household members. Okay, and we're gonna get some some of the leftovers of the stuff that people made. I'm still not over the fact that this is a brother-sister combo that has to share a one-bedroom apartment when there's no reason for it, really. They have enough money that they could probably find a nicer place, but... At this point, she's in too deep. She slept with the landlord and now she literally has a baby. Okay, so I'm gonna have Cassidy take care of her needs and then send her to bed for the evening. Oh, okay. She was only asleep for a little bit before little Malcolm decided that he was upset with something. So let's uh, let's go take care of him. Now, what's going on with you, Malcolm? It doesn't look like, oh, she got up and she immediately was like, oh, it's time to feed the baby. Okay, cool, I didn't even do that. I wasn't sure what was wrong with him. Okay, the dog, the dog is barking. So how do I teach her not to do that? Well, uh, maybe Rosie didn't want anything. Maybe she just wanted some love and attention. And now she's back sleeping on her bed. I love that she sleeps in her pet bed, that's so cute. Okay, Cassidy's gonna go back to sleep and we are gonna call it a night officially. Hopefully little Malcolm doesn't wake up. Okay, literally two hours later, Malcolm is back up and upset about something. He's got a dirty diaper, that's all. No big deal. We can deal with a dirty diaper. Let's make a little silly face at him. <laughs> That's so cute. At least she's taking the time to like make sure this baby is like cared for. It's not like, you know, I could have been real trifling and just let CPS come take the baby away. <laughs> but no, she's taking care of the baby. All right, let's go use the bathroom and then go back to bed again, again. Oh, I forgot Ollie has a job job now. He's supposed to start working an hour. All right, get up. You know what I just thought about? This bathroom doesn't have a tub to wash the dog in case the dog ends up getting dirty. So I don't know, we'll have to figure that out at some point. Uh oh, the dog is ill. And unfortunately, Ollie is taking a shower right next to little Rosie, but little Rosie's got the little hot paws. We gotta take her to the vet. Okay, well, I guess he's just gonna have to wait until he gets back from work. Hopefully nothing happens with the dog. I don't know how long that they can kind of like be sick before it's a real problem. Oh my gosh, she's so cute though. Cause she grabbed the ball. And she's just kind of like in the next room with the next sim. Like, hey, do you want to play with me? But unfortunately not, Rosie. All right, Malcolm is up yet again crying. So Cassidy is taking care of it like a good mommy. Hi, Malcolm. <laughs> I should not have named the baby after her baby daddy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, so Ollie is back. Time for you to come over here and wake up your dog and take her to the vet. I'm also gonna change the baby's outfit one more time before I end up aging him up, just so I can see another little outfit. Oh, look at the stars. That's so cute. Oh, I love the little baby newborn outfit. I was just about to say, has he eaten? I actually don't know what his little problem is. She's handling it though. Oh yeah, yeah, he hasn't eaten. Now, as far as Rosie, let's take Rosie to the vet clinic. Do I have to go? Yes. Dang. Ollie and Rosie are supposed to be side characters in this side mission that we're doing today, but now I'm here I am going to the vet because the dog is sick. Okay, so we are going to sign Rosie in for curing sickness. I also don't, I didn't realize that Rosie wasn't spayed. So we also probably need to figure that out. Cause when I click on this, it says sign Rosie in for spay. Some of the other dogs we looked at were already spayed. I did not realize that Rosie wasn't spayed. So we're gonna have to do that too. Also we traveled and now the dog is not, doesn't have the hot paws. Where's he going? He's gonna play in the rain. No, your dog, follow the dog. Oh my gosh, anyway. Okay, so Ollie is watching the treatment and now we have the option of what we would like to do. Looks like Rosie has sizzle paw. Which treatment do we want? We want the expensive treatment because we spared no expense for our doggy daughter. Oh, Rosie, you're such a good girl. Now about that spay, we also need to give her a little spay. I know that she's sick. She was sick just two seconds ago, but I don't want a, a little litter of puppies hanging around. You know what I'm saying? The vet will be with you soon to spay your pet with state-of-the-art technology. Okay. Oh. Rosie is like, I don't want to go back in there. It was scary. She's like, hoo, hoo, hoo. he looks so pitiful. I love to see this little examination. <laughs> the stork with the little X on it. That was funny. Oh, Rosie. 
Maybe not the little cone on your head. Can I give you like scratches or something? Oh, let me praise you. You're such a good girl. Good girl, Rosie. Well, as we were leaving, Ollie saw someone who he thought was kind of interesting. You know, just somebody who Malcolm Landgrab the second is texting me. I heard you and Cassidy Purdue are good friends. You're getting more popular. This is my nephew who's a newborn baby. He doesn't even have a picture. Why is he texting me? Oh my gosh, The Sims. Anyway, I was trying to meet this person because maybe they could be somebody that we're interested in. But frankly, I think it's just time to go home. That was odd enough. We're gonna we're gonna go back home. Okay, so we are back, and I think before we end this little episode, I think it's time to age up our little Malky Poo, a little Malcolm Land grab the second into an infant. Oh. Cute. All right. And now Malcolm is actually aging up into an infant. He's going to have his own little personality. He's going to be cautious. Oh, and what do you know? Little Malcolm Landgrab has red hair like his mama. That is crazy. Well, what do you know? Like mama like son. Mm -mm -mm. He doesn't have the signature Landgrab blonde hair. He's got like the same eyes and hair as Cassidy and everything. You wouldn't even know that was Malcolm's child if she hadn't named him Malcolm Landgrab the second. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this detour. If you enjoyed this episode and you want to make sure you see more episodes of the Slumlord Stories Let's Play, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications so you know when my next video goes up. I go live weekly on this channel, so make sure you are also subscribed so you can join us live. And there's still more fun to be had. Check out the other videos on my channel here. Until next time, y'all, dag dag!